Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Big time SBC dropped today on FIFA Ultimate Team. You're hearing a lot about it. I'm sure a lot of you guys have done it. The Icon Upgrade SBC. Now, I think a lot of people would have liked to see this SBC be a little bit cheaper, uh, but tons of people are doing it, and that's what I wanna take a look at with you guys on the market today, and ultimately kind of decide, is this SBC worth it? Is it worth it to do one? Is it worth it to do two or three? What is worth it with this SBC? Right off the bat, I mean, this is my thoughts. You, It takes an 87 rated and an 86 rated squad, and it's over here on Footbin, costing you around 250,000 coins. So basically what they, what EA did with this SBC was, the base, they based the value of this SBC on the, the floor, the icon market floor, um, yesterday. So the icon market floor before this SBC came out was around 250 to 270,000 coins. Um, and that makes sense, right? Uh, because people were using icons in some icon SBCs. Um, and that held the floor of those icons up a little bit. But with that SBC coming out today, costing you about 240,000 coins, a lot of people are packing these lower level icons. And the demand on the market is not there like it used to be because everybody has these cards untradeable now through this pack. Um, so that's why EA made this cost about 240, 250,000 coins to do the SBC um, because that was basically where the floor of the icon was at. And that's basically how they've been valuing some of these SBCs. Basically, um, if you think about Pogba, they valued Pogba's SBC at his headliner's price before that was re-released back into the packs. That card was around a million coins. And that SBC for the footies Pog was around a million coins as well. Um, but I kind of think they could have made this SBC a little bit cheaper. I feel like they could have maybe dropped one of the TOTS cards or maybe did like an 85 and an 86 rated squad because there's a lot of lower rated icons that you get from this SBC. And that's one of the first things that really makes me think that this SBC is not worth it. It is cool to get an icon upgrade and this SBC would be definitely work it, worth it if primer icons were included. But as it looks to me right now, I'm thinking this SBC, maybe do one. If you're somebody who has coins like me, 3.6 million right now, I bought Team of the Season Sun today for you guys that follow my my uh, coin amount and coin total. Just so you know what I'm doing with my coins. I bought this Sun card today for 490. Um, probably gonna stay in my, in my club for the rest of the year, we'll see. Um, just because I'm a Spurs fan and wanna use that card. But if you're somebody who has over a million coins, um, this SBC is out for six days. If you still aren't deciding what you want to do with it, just try one. See what happens. At the worst, what you do with this SBC, you do one of them and you can throw that player into an Icon SBC. Even if you don't plan to do that Icon, you can at least get a 100,000 coin pack from that card. Um, and that'll help you out a lot because you can easily get two or three special cards, some team of the seasons from some of these 100k packs and you can make some of that coin amount back. So it's if, if it's an icon that you don't think you're gonna use, um, let's say you put them into Ronaldinho or Hullet, and you put that into a 100,000 coin pack, you paid 250K out of pocket for that SBC, and you get like 50K back from that SBC. Technically, you can say that SBC costs you 50,000 coins net. Um, that's something that you can do to maybe offset the price, but then you're relying on pack luck, and we know that relying on pack luck is not the best thing to do in this game. So I wanted to look at that a little bit and first off, just kind of talk about, is this SBC worth it? And for most of you guys, I'm gonna say no. I don't think this SBC is really worth it to grind if they had, and this is what I really, really wanted to see today. And I think we, the FIFA community wants to see this even more, especially us people who are more hardcore grinders of this game. We really wanna see those 81 plus packs, the 82 plus packs, back out on the game. We really want to see those back out on the game because if we had those, it would be so, so easy to craft these SBCs. I'm telling you, it would be insanely easy to craft some of these SBCs. Now, I want to take a look at some of the cheapest players by rating on the market. Look at some of this stuff. I talked to you guys about stocking your club with some of the higher rateds today and it looked like that was a good idea because last night, some of the 86s that we looked at uh, you know, 12 hours before this SBC came out were around 10K. I remember seeing Ozil specifically for like 11, 10,000 coins. 
Um, so some of those cards have gone up a decent amount. Some of the 87s have gone up, you know, four to five thousand coins. A lot guys that were low last night. Um, I remember seeing Mancini at like 12k last night and Lazari down there as well. Since those were Tots cards and you needed Team of the Season cards in this SBC today, those rose up a little bit more than others did, which was nice. And then the 88 rated as well rose up a decent amount. Basically, if you had Tots cards, Delort was like. You know, sometimes you can get him on a snipe for like 15 or 16,000 coins. He's back up to 23. Probably was even higher when the SBC first came out. Um, but a lot of that stuff did go up today. And I think what really went up the most today was some of the 84s. Uh, remember last night I was talking to you guys about doing a club stock on the 84s? They were around 4,500 coins. They all shot up to 6K today. And some of these guys probably went extinct. Actually, I know for a fact that some of these guys went extinct at one point in the day today. Let's look at the hourly graph. The hourly graph for Delhi Ali was around 5,000 coins, 5,800, 5,700, jumped up to 8,000 coins. I'm sure there were a lot of other examples like that. I know that I looked in the middle of the day, I looked at Raul Albiol and I looked at uh, Javi Martinez and Javi Martinez was actually extinct on the market, but that was partially due to the Goretzka SBC being re-released. Um, that was partially due to that SBC being re-released. But again, one thing that we saw today with this SBC, and this has kind of been how it's going. Like a lot of people are still investing for these SBCs. That's why you see the start price this, of this SBC go down, rise up to its highest point about two hours after, and then kind of fluctuate down in price. But as you see right now, it's back up at 250K on Xbox. So um, if you're somebody who invested in some of this stuff, don't don't sell it just yet. If you invested in some high-rated cards and you're wondering when to sell, when's the best time to sell, I would sell those um, probably before 6 p.m. UK today just because you don't want to rent, risk it uh, with upgrade packs coming out or with another tradable pack giving out 50K and 100K packs. Um, you might see the SBC rise a little bit before 6 p.m. today as people go on and do that SBCs. So maybe get your uh, coins out then. But then we did get this Leon Goretzka card today, and if you did not do it the first time, this is an absolute fantastic card, and you get some you get some pretty decent packs back. It does cost you around 200,000 coins to do this SBC, but he is well worth it. I love this card this year, this uh, Goretzka card. So if that guy fits in your team, especially with the Ribery SBC that is out, the Goretzka, we just had the David Alaba footies card, we have Renato Sanchez, um, a beast card in foot swaps, which costs you six to five tokens for this Renato Sanchez card. So I think a lot of people might actually be going for this card now with all the other Bayern cards that have come out. So that's a decent shout there as well. But again, if you guys uh, did a little bit of a club stock, I honestly did not just because I am basically done trading with this game. You've heard me say that multiple times. Um, Probably some of these cards went up today. Koke, what's he at? What is Koke chilling at right now? 14,000 coins? Looks like he's around 14K. Uh, that's pretty high for an 84 rated. Not super high though. Now if Vidal was 14K, which he's not, looks like he's like 12, that would be more impressive to me. Kadira, I'm probably actually gonna save these players and do an SBC myself. I should have sold this card though. Is he still extinct? Oh yeah, still extinct. Give me 10K for Javi Martinez, we'll take that. We'll take that. But a lot of these cards are inflated in price. I bought a few of them. Some of them I've just packed. But I'm probably going to try one of those Icon SBCs out just to try it, you know? And that's what I would recommend you guys doing. If you have the coins, just do one. Try it out. See what you get. Um, and maybe we can have some fun with that. But I really wanted to bring that SBC to you guys today and talk about, actually, on the market, some other things that happened. So I bought that Sun card. I mentioned I bought Sun at 490,000 coins. I bought that card today. Basically, when that SBC dropped, there were people that were every every day at 6 p.m. UK on the market. When we get the content drop, there's panic. Basically, every single day because we're getting SBCs that supply cards onto the market, or people are just listing cards up for sale. This Cristiano Ronaldo card was 3.6 million coins. I think I have it on my transfer list. 3.75, and I saw one for 3.65 as well. A lot of these cards dropped. Ericsson was 290. Um, he's now right around 340. So, I mean, these cards are going to fluctuate a lot. I saw Mbappe at 1.5 flat. Now he's 1.65. So these cards do fluctuate a lot. Not to say that if you're trying to trade with them, if you want one of these for your team, 
um, or just to play with for the day and then maybe try to cut your losses or minimize your losses in selling overnight. Um, buying at 6 p.m. UK is a decent shout, especially if they release packs. Um, today being Tuesday, I think we'll probably get a player SBC. I think they've been releasing player SBCs on Tuesdays and usually some other type of pack. Um, Ribery has two days left. I think Kevin De Bruyne goes away tomorrow and Zlatan went away yesterday. So we're going to have only two players in the store um, besides the footies players. So I think we might see another re-release of a player SBC. Um, maybe that's a Van Dyke. Maybe that's a Sterling that I mentioned before. Those player of the year cards could very easily be re-released um, onto Ultimate Team. So that's going to be something that's very interesting to watch. Actually, to end this video off, I'm going to open a couple of these 30K packs uh, because that's what we've been doing. Um, with our coins here at the end of the game is having a little bit of fun with these packs that are out now Hopefully we get the upgrade pack so that I don't have to do this anymore, you know, so I don't have to actually do this and list these cards up um, And do it this way. I would much rather is Alex Teixeira selling right now. Oh, not really I would much rather just have the coins uh, but dude, this is fun. You can do this every day. There's people that are opening these packs. Um, let's go. It's a freaking walkout. Every day people are opening these promo packs uh, because it's just something to do. Who is this? Costish left wing back. What is he going for right now? Probably like 20k. Probably like 20k. I'm sure the um, Icon SBC is helping his value out a little bit. 39,000 coins. So he actually went up in price. This guy actually went up in price today. Um, because of the SBC. So that's a GG if you bought some of those higher rated TOTS cards. Anything else in the pack? An 84. Yo, sounds good to me, man. I'm going to list this up at 39. And see what we get there. Send the rest of the club. Do a little quick sell. And then we'll open a couple more of these because we just made our money back on that pack. I'm not worried about coins. We're just here to have fun. And I figured I would end this video off with a little bit of fun. And a few packs being opened, you know? A little bit of fun and a few packs being opened and some pretty poor pack luck, to be honest. Also, side note, boys, I literally ordered FIFA 20. I pre-ordered FIFA 20 right before the deadline for the Ultimate Edition with the ones to watch. <laughs> literally, like, 10 minutes before um, that was going to go away, I pre-ordered the game just in time, so that's kind of funny. I got my pre-order. I'm set for FIFA 20. We're ready to make coins, to have fun with a new game. And there's going to be probably some more FIFA 20 content. I know I've mentioned that a few times, but there's there's definitely going to be some more FIFA 20 content uh, coming to the channel here pretty soon as we continue to get information. After footies is over, boys, after footies is over, it's, uh, it's, it's, all, FIFA. it's all FIFA 20, basically. Um, from here on out FIFA 20 preparations FIFA 20 things we can do to get ready. This is uh, M Mings Tyrone Mings. Is that his name? Just a lot of preparation type stuff um, in the upcoming future So I'm excited for that uh, And just to see what that brings as we finish off these packs What kind of what a video today boys a little bit of a market talk talking about the icon SBCs and some duty packs as well. I probably should have stopped uh, because I'm trying to buy Team of the Season Ronaldo. And this is hurting my abilities to do that as I continue to pack um, players that are not going to make me coins. Last one. EA, let's go. Hook me up. 30k pack. Come on. Give me a walkout. Let's go. Big Team of the Season player right here, EA. What's this? A man of the match? Who's this? Tyson? Is this Tyson? Tyson? 86 rated. Oh my, what's his discard value? Could there be a Tots card behind this? There is not. That's disgraceful. Um, actually, does he sell? Since he's 86 rated. It does not look like the man sells for really anything. Back here at 18k. I'm just going to quick sell him. Just going to quick sell him, alright? That should do us fine. But boys, thank you for watching the video today. We ended with some packs that were a little bit less than desirable, but we did make some sales from it. Probably didn't make our coins all the way back, but it was fun, you know? We took our chances, we had some fun. Um, 
And yeah, boys, make sure you stay tuned to the Twitter channel. Link is below in the description. You'll uh, be able to be notified there when uh, videos go live and when I do go live on Twitch as well. But again, one last note, this Icon SBC, do one, have fun with it. I'll probably do one on stream at some point later this week just to see what we get. Um, just do one and have fun. Hopefully we get the repeatable upgrades though that would help so much with this SBC and being able to grind it and to craft it. That is for sure. If you enjoyed the video, boys, smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.